Hello everyone, I want to talk to you about a new report that has been released by Eduphoria. This is going to be perfect for teachers to get baseline data for their students from last year's STAR performance. Um, this report is available to teachers, anyone that has campus access to data, and district data viewers. On the left side, underneath analysis, you'll click reports. And then for teachers, you're gonna to wanna to find the one that has teacher in parentheses. If you are a campus data viewer, you will continue scrolling down, same with the district data viewers. So it is the Star Quintile Performance and Growth Report. Uh, once you get here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on performance and growth. If you are a subject or grade level that has performance only, uh, for example, third grade math or fifth grade science, you can choose performance only. I'm going to use my drop down menu and I'm going to choose my grade level and test. Scroll down and click next. Give it a second to think. And then pick your test. I'm going to pick last year's star test and then generate report. Okay, this is going to first put my students into quintiles. Now to get a baseline of where my students are, I can check these boxes and they are gonna color code my students. So my master students, here are my meets, high approaches, low approaches, high does not meet, and then low does not meet. So now teachers can quickly get a baseline of where their students are starting their year at. Because remember, when we talk about growth, we want students to jump buckets. Other than our masters and meets kids. Remember, if you're masters, you wanna stay masters, meets, you can stay meets or jump up. Everybody else has to jump a bucket. Teachers can also see which students got uh, credit for growth. I can check this box for full credit, this one for partial credit, and then for no credit. And then notice students who didn't have a previous STAR test will just have a dash. The next thing I want to show you is if your campus is looking at a specific demographic to target. So I can use this drop down menu and maybe I want to focus on one of my ethnicities. And let's say we're going to focus on our white population. I'm going to click apply. And what's going to happen is it's going to bold that student information so you can see who all is included in that population. Now, if you want to, you can print this report. The only downside to printing this report is it does not color code um, any of the boxes that we've checked. So if you print this, you'll have to print it in black and white and then go back and do some of that color coding yourself for that baseline. 